When I was in court, right, the judges told me that I can't use the Florida Constitution, the United States Constitution, the Florida Bill of Rights, the United States Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, statutory law, nor the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and self-defense, right? But then my my friend started teach, telling me about the Bible while I was going through a legal, where he didn't tell me about the Bible, the people in my community who was preachers started telling me I was like Job. So I understand you all who tell me to stop talking about the Bible because I was trying to not talk about the Bible because I knew people like you was out there trying to um, like make me out not to be a scholar in the Bible. But I'm saying I'm not a biblical scholar. So I really don't know the Bible. You understand me? But I know me. I know who I am. See what I'm saying? And I can't go to court, right? So what I'm saying is if, if everybody's talking about mercy, grace, of forgiveness, but in the Bible it says, "Vengeance is mine," saith the Lord. So if so, if you kill Jesus, and Jesus was telling you about his father, so is Jesus going to defend his own death, or is his father going to defend the death of his son? So is when Jesus come back, is he going to be the father or is he going to be the son? Or is he going to be the Holy Spirit? See, how could he be the son and the father? But you say, because he say me and my father is one. And I understand what you're saying because me and my son is one. See, his name, Tommy, my name, Tommy. His name, Chancey, my name, Chancey. His name Castle, my name Castle. See, we won. See, the only difference between he and I is senior and junior. So that means we won. So the Holy Spirit is our is, is our um molecular structure, right? That's that's our DNA. See what I'm saying? That's why he it'll say 99.9. That's my son. Now, when do I be able to avenge him? When you say it's okay, right? But what about when I kept asking for help, right? But you thought I wanted to do something else, right? So you start stopping me from getting back to my son, my daughter, my wife, because you thought that I wanted to do something, right? But I was saying, all right, Tommy, man, they they thinking, you know, whatever. So I'm concentrating on my enemy. You see what I'm saying? See, I'm saying, okay, they got my family. My family got my family. See, my family got my wife. My family got my children. So, okay, cool, because if they protecting them from me, but I know ain't nothing, nobody else better not do nothing to them. You see what I'm saying? Because if you protecting them from me, then you protecting them. Then you responsible for whatever happened to them. See, that's why I put the law around them and I put it against you if you did something to them. See, then if you help them, then I put it to help you. See, so the law is in between this whole situation, see, because I put it in there. Right now, how about when Jesus said and he prophesied the end of the rich man. See, remember when he said the rich man got about as much chance of getting into heaven as a camel walking through the eye of a needle. So wasn't what was he saying? See, what was he saying? Because I'm saying if I didn't give up my money, then I wouldn't have been able to follow Jesus into the judgment hall. So when they took my money, they thought they were going to take my mind. But I'm saying if I'm using my mind, how can you take something in use? Right? See, so y'all minds need to be resurrected from the depth of your understanding. See, because if you can't, if, you, if you're not willing to give up your riches, 
then how are you following Jesus? See, Jesus gave. You church people receiving. Now you show me when Jesus received anything other than a slap in the face and three nails. And you gave him all of that, you believers. See, but, but you believed in Abraham when Jesus came into Jerusalem. And now you believe in Jesus Christ. But what about Jesus of Nazareth of Galilee? You still don't believe in him. See, you, you believe in the story, not the man. Because if you believed in the man, you would see the crime is the story. So what God would sacrifice his son for somebody who believed in Abraham? Why would he do that? Because you don't believe in his son. Now you say, now that you killed his son, now everything is okay. But then you killed Dr. Martin Luther King, Minister Malcolm X, Huey P. Newton, Mr. Mega Elvis, John F. Kennedy. See, anybody who threatens your sanctity, then you murder them. Now you tell me, how if you murder a saint, you honored by God. Now you tell me how if you kill a righteous person, man, woman, or child, you're forgiven.